this gunk stripe bomb hairstyle using Yolissa hair company today so of course I'm gonna show you what's inside the box how I customize and dyed this unit and show you the mistakes I made and how I fixed them as well as a wig install and hair review so if you want to know all of the above then keep on watching bye Lisa do you think you overdid it with our hair mm -mm. nope I sure don't, because we're going to Beverly Hills. Now, if I'm going to do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. In this box, I received a silk wig bag as well as a silk head wrap, a wig cap, eyelashes, and elastic bands with an informational card. This unit is a 26-inch 13 by 6 Swiss lace frontal unit. It only gave me an inch of parting space on the sides, but plenty in the middle. This is a pre-plucked hairline, cap size medium with adjustable straps and combs. And it's sitting at a whopping 250% density. First things first, we are going to bleach the knots first with the 40 volume developer and BW2 powder. Make sure it's a thick consistency. I do bleach the knots first, wash it all out, and then begin with my skunk stripe. Make sure you do this separately, don't do it together. That is a mistake that I learned on the first time trying this style out on my other video. So definitely do the bleach knots first and then the next day work on your skunk stripe. So here I'm using my wow products to wash out my bleach and then using purple shampoo to tone the unit. So here I am going to be working on the skunk stripe. We are prepping this wig first. So here I'm just measuring out how this wig is gonna fall onto my head and then I am parting my unit. I do want a side part, so I am doing a side part first and then horizontally part over. I do do a thick patch because I'm going to be processing this patch three times so we will start losing a little bit of hair so definitely do a nice thick patch like I did so once it's parted perfectly I braid that up and then I take my got to be glue blast free spray and spray all throughout the hairline this will help the hair not be bleached while I'm bleaching my patch and get all the little flyaways out the way. Parted and braided the skunk stripe on the front, I go in on the other side, which is the left side, and get a big chunk and break that up, and that's where I'm going to bleach as well. Don't forget to get a plastic bag and put it over your dome head before adding your wig on top. This will help save your wig head from um, getting bleached and creating holes in the actual canvas. Here I'm adding some more Got To Be Glue Blast Free Spray and making sure the part is as sharp as I need it. And here I'm actually still prepping this wig so I'm going to braid and uh, use Got To Be Glue Blast Free Spray all throughout the hair. Braid it back so none of the bleach gets onto this part of the hair. So I get medium sized sections and just spray, comb, and braid it back. Once everything is braided, I put it into a bun and leave that whole section alone. Right here, I'm spraying along the edges of this unit on the parted skunk stripe because I want to leave that part black. I don't want to dye the whole thing blonde. Now onto the fun part. I take my BW2 powder 40 volume developer, mix that up don't forget your foil and here I'm just going to part the hair in smaller sections and add the bleach what I like to do is basically add the bleach obviously and then smooth it out with my fingers and then take my comb and comb through the bleached 
hair and then add my foil and add more bleach. I love using smaller sections just so I don't skip any um, parts in the hair. I want to make sure everything is all one color. Here I do the same thing onto the bang, but I start in the middle when applying the bleach and then work my way up so I can have more control. Here I'm using a comb because this is where I can have more control with adding the bleach and making sure I'm not bleaching the actual frontal itself and leaving that dark root. As you can see, I have bleach on the wig. I got my alcohol wipes and wiped that off. Make sure you have alcohol wipes on the side. So just in case you get some bleach on the hair that you don't want bleach on, you can just wipe that off easily. Here I'm finger combing and then adding a comb to just comb through the bleach and then adding my foil and adding some more bleach to it. So here, after like 30 minutes, I take off the foil and add more bleach and comb through the bleached parts just so I make sure that there's no um, missing, you know, pieces or like, you know, like sometimes you don't get the bleach all throughout the hair and then there's some patches. This will help minimize the patching. And then I leave that on for another 30 minutes and then I wash it out. So here I'm showing you how I wash it out for the first process. I do not wash the black or the other parts. I only wash the bleached parts, only with shampoo and conditioner. Here I am blow drying the bleached parts with cool heat. As you can see, there's some dark spots in this patch, but we're gonna fix that. We're bleaching it all over again with the same BW2 powder and 40 volume developer. I do the same process over on the same day. So I bleach this unit two times in one day. I left it on for another hour, do the same exact theme. After 30 minutes, finger comb through it. Make sure you add more bleach. This is the second day of bleaching, third time bleaching. I'm using 20 volume developer and BW2. Sorry if this is going fast, you guys, but this is the third bleach process and I'm using 20 volume developer this time. This is how much hair that has been lost throughout this whole process, which is not that bad. And here I just add the bleach and then after an hour, I basically wash it out and I only wash out the blonde pieces. I do not wash the black hair. And then here I'm taking my purple conditioner and running my fingers through it and rinsing it out. So as you can see, this is the day three. This is how much hair that has been lost. So this is day three, everything is dried up. As you can see, it's different colors, it's looking crazy. So here I'm going to tone this hair using Garnier Fructis. I'll have it linked down below. I follow the directions, shake it up, and then I apply it to the blonde pieces so I can tone it up, make sure the color is all one color, is bright and airy. Here I'm taking my jet black black dye and while I wrapped it up in foil, make sure it's out the way, make sure this dye does not touch the blonde parts. Make sure, like have foil on the side just so you can separate it. But here I'm just adding the jet black hair dye throughout the hair because of course I added of course some bleach bleached the hair sorry you guys it's a long tutorial but some parts got some bleach in it so there's some patchy brownness in the hair and I want to make sure the hair is all one color so here after an hour I wash out the black hair first three times make sure the hair dye does not touch the blonde pieces I did have a big mistake that I'm going to show you in a little bit, but here I'm just washing out the unit. I'm washing as much as I can out the black dye out before I wash the blonde pieces because you do not want the black to mix in with the blonde because then it just defeats the whole purpose. So here I am have the wig on one side and then blonde pieces on the other side to make sure it's not touching. 
I use my wow products on every single um, piece of the wig I use shampoo and conditioner so here is my mistake this is what I'm doing wrong do not combine the black hair with the blonde hair like I'm doing right now do not do this I thought I was good and honey this is the next day and the hair turned blue so do not mix it even if you're conditioning it to, conditioning it make sure you condition the blonde and the black pie pieces separately okay do it separately throughout the whole process so you won't end up like me but I fixed it and I'm gonna show you how I fixed it so I'm taking my color remover. Make sure you have like a color remover in the back of your beauty closet just in case. I mixed it with water, purified water, and I'm just going in with that paste and putting it all throughout the blonde pieces. And then I let it sit for 20 minutes, washed and conditioned. So here is the next day. This is day four, you guys. It took me four days to do this whole freaking this whole freaking process it was a lot so this is the hairline now it is time to install and do a full review this hair was fighting me y'all it was fighting me but it ended up turning out so bomb so a review on this unit the thickness honey 250 percent density they did not lack any density whatsoever this hair is super thick the cap size fits me perfectly the lace itself is swiss lace so it's beautiful it melted perfectly on my skin as you can see it bleaches and dyes bomb um, i didn't lose too much hair in the process of me bleaching it three times this unit is so gorgeous i loved how it styled and laid on my hair the unit the not bleached perfectly I love it the only thing that I did not like about this unit is that it only gave me like an inch of parting space around the sides so around the ear area so it won't give you too much but it does give you a deep side part a very deep side part and then it holds a curl beautifully one thing about this wig it holds a curl bomb so definitely check out Yolissa hair if you are interested in their body wave it dyes perfectly it's very thick and it gives you a variety of wig sizes which a lot of wig companies does not give you it gives you small medium and large cap size options so definitely check them out here as you can see I'm pin curling pin curling my bang I'm just gonna let you guys vibe out to the rest of this video and I'll see you at the outro So you guys this is basically it let me tell you this wig was fighting me honey she was coming in hard but you know i had to add that reese lovin so thank you so much yolissa hair company for letting me try out this beautiful unit don't forget you guys to like comment and subscribe for more videos down below and i'll see you in my next video bye